A new SSR mode, Mode Sierra, is being introduced. In order to overcome the limitations of the present modes, Alpha and Charlie, S, or Sierra, stands for Selective Addressing. The new system has to be compatible with the existing SSR modes Alpha and Charlie so that it can be used to supplement the present system. It uses the same frequencies of 1030 and 1090 MHz and uses broadly the same interrogation methods. The main features of the new mode S are There will be many more codes available. The aircraft address code will be made up of 24 bits. This means that the system will have over 16,700,000 discrete codes available. This will be enough to give an individual address code to each aircraft. The code will be incorporated into the aircraft at a manufacturer and remain with it throughout its life. Data link communication will be used. A data link is a system for rapidly transmitting text messages and displaying them on a message screen. Reading a message is faster than hearing a voice and the message stays in place until it has been fully understood, unlike a voice message. The system will be supported by a ground data network and will have the ability to handle uplink downlink data messages over the horizon. Mode Sierra can provide ground-to-air, air-to-ground and air-to-air -air data exchange using communication protocols. The data link is the same one which is used in TCAS 2. The use of data links should reduce voice traffic. It is intended that the majority of the present air traffic control voice messages will, in future, become text data link messages. These will be exchanged via the aircraft's control and display unit. Mode Sierra equipped aircraft transmit every second, whether they are interrogated or not. Height readout will be in 25-foot increments and more data on an aircraft's present and intended performance will be available to the ground controllers. Mode S operates in the following modes. All call to elicit replies for acquisition of Mode Sierra transponders Broadcast to transmit information to all Mode Sierra transponders. No replies are triggered. Selective for surveillance of and communication with individual Mode Sierra transponders. For each interrogation, a reply is elicited only from the transponder uniquely addressed by the interrogation. And intermode which is an interoperability mode. The ground station makes an all-call interrogation. Mode Alpha and Charlie transponders reply with their standard 4096 codes and Mode Sierra transponders reply with a full Mode Sierra response. Incidentally, if a non-Mode Sierra ground station interrogates a Mode Sierra equipped aircraft the standard 4096 code Mode Alpha and Charlie reply is made. Therefore, the basic 4096 code always applies to Modes Alpha, Charlie and Sierra and is always triggered whether either the aircraft or the ground radar has Mode Sierra or not. The benefits of Mode Sierra are Firstly, that there is unambiguous aircraft identification. As each aircraft will be assigned a unique address from one of almost 17 million and there will be automatic flight identity reporting, unambiguous aircraft identification becomes possible. This unique address in each interrogation and reply also permits the inclusion of data link messages to or from a particular aircraft. That is, 
selective calling will be possible, in addition to all call messages. The superior resolution ability of Mode S plus selective interrogation will eliminate synchronous garble, resolve the effects of over-interrogation, and simplify aircraft identification in the case of radar reflections. The radar controller will be presented with a better current air picture and improved horizontal and vertical tracking due to unambiguous aircraft identification, enhanced tracking techniques, and the increased downlink data from the aircraft. The current shortage of SSR codes in the European region will be eliminated by the large number of aircraft addresses with Mode Sierra. RT between a controller and an aircraft will be reduced. Because Mode Sierra will eliminate synchronous garbling, produce a more stable speed vector, and report altitude down to 20 feet, it should improve safety. Access to the downlinked aircraft's vertical rate will produce early, accurate knowledge of aircraft maneuvers, which will help in collision avoidance. Incidentally, although the ground system will benefit from altitude reporting down to 25 foot accuracy, there is no intention to change the display of altitude information to the controller, which will still be in 100 foot increments. This completes the Mode Sierra lesson and with it, our study of radar.